scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Except you reveal to us, O oh God, we cannot know. Except you show us, we cannot see. Except you guide us, we will not be accurate. Hallelujah. I'll share some more on Monday, but this word you see is the secret that makes men great. Every man is built by the word of God. Not just the word of God that is read, but the word of God that is revealed by the wisdom of the spirit and received. And tonight, I, I just want to talk along these lines and we'll just run through a few scriptures as I challenge you. I, I truly hope that someone will be angry with your current situation, whether spiritually or whatever dimension, and trust that tonight's teaching will help build you. Let's start with John chapter 8. John chapter 8 and verse 32. John chapter 8 and verse 32. In fact, let's start from verse 30. We'll read from 30 to 32. 30 to 32. He says, as he spoke these words, this is Jesus now, many believed on him that he won then said jesus to those jews which believed on him he said if you do what continue in my word then ye are my disciples indeed and then 32 says and ye shall know the truth you will know the truth by starting as you continue somewhere along the lines of your consistency you will encounter something remember the context is continuation not just starting to read not just a five minutes devotional not just a one month study it says if you continue in my word you are activating something that will cause you to eventually encounter the truth it says and if it is truth there is a character of truth it sets free meaning that if you claim to know the word and it still leaves you in bondage or in that situation then the truth of that word the final the uh, how, how do i how do i describe it now when the word of god is broken down the unit of it is truth the capacity to be set free from life's vicissitudes the capacity to not be under the limitations of life to rise by understanding and by the liberating power of truth he says if you continue meaning it will take a while he didn't lie to you he said if ye continue then you are my disciples then he says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free Ladies and gentlemen, there are many people around the world with scriptures, with books, with tapes, with teachings, attending seminars, and all of them will tell you they have the word. 
all of them will tell you they have the truth but we do not see that liberating power of the truth in their lives not their spiritual lives not their finances not their ministries they remain in bondage in spite of their supposed encounter with the word something is wrong if it is truth that you meet the bible says the truth shall make you make you like i say make food for me the food is not there you are going to enter a kitchen and make it happen the bible says the truth if encountered can make what does not exist in your life it it never said the truth will bring you freedom there is no freedom anywhere like like if i tell you make jollof rice for me as at the time i was speaking there's no jollof rice you will search it and not find it but i said make it are we together your intelligence can gather from any market and any location the cow the vegetables and then combine them in a way that after a few hours there you have plate what you are looking for is freedom but it's not available and then the bible says when you encounter the truth the truth knows what forces to bring together and then all of a sudden something that did not exist will now exist the truth shall make you free free from what free from poverty free from fear free from mediocrity are we together now so the problem usually is that we may have encountered the word but we have not encountered the truth let's talk about it in john chapter 18 please give us verse 33 and we're reading to verse 38 something happened between pilate and jesus please listen and learn the bible says pilate entered into the judgment hall again jesus is being judged now and called jesus and said unto him art thou the king of the jews pilate was asking a question next verse we are reading to 38 jesus answered him sayest thou this thing of thyself or did others tell it of thee that means pilate had an information people were murmuring it outside and he came in he said are you a king looking like this the king of the jews and then the next verse pilate answered am i a jew thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me what hast thou done 36 jesus answered listen my kingdom is not of this world if my kingdom were of this world then would my servants fight that i should not be delivered to the jews but now is my kingdom not from hence 37 he said pilate therefore said unto him art thou a king remember this is a battle of reality and information he's trying to verify something follow me closely thou sayest that i am a king to this end was i born for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto what? Talk to me, please. That I should be a testifier of the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. So he's talking of truth now. Next verse. Pilate said unto him a question that people never ask. What is truth? notice the moment Pilate said what is truth Jesus said I am a testament of the truth immediately he said I find in him no fault in other words because you are the truth you qualify to be free if it is truth it always sets men free are you getting what I'm saying now so Jesus Pilate confessed that because you are a testifier of the truth there is no reason why you should be in this situation when truth shows up no matter what it is it must let you go jesus's remaining there was because of his love for us but pilate said before all he said i find no fault in the truth that's the same way poverty can say i find no fault the truth has come i must give way this has come i must give way when the lord opened my eyes to this scripture i said my goodness everywhere Jesus went that was a system of oppression it couldn't hold him for long because he was truth are we together they held him before a cliff he came out there was scarcity around the truth and the truth said no it shouldn't be 
and all of a sudden multiplication came because the truth was there are you getting what i'm saying now listen very carefully everywhere the truth went the ministry of that truth was to liberate was to set free when he got into your house no matter what it was that truth made men free he went to the house of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, come down. I'm coming to your house. And within minutes, because Zacchaeus hosted the truth, he was free. And thou shalt know the truth. If you ever host the truth, then the truth must make you free. Mm. Very powerful revelation. That means if we remain in bondage, the issue is not just Satan. The issue is that we may have been receiving scripture and Bible study, but the truth has not come. Because when the truth comes, the Bible says it makes you free. It fabricates freedom from wherever and ministers it to you. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Many people keep bragging around with their acquisition of scriptures and their criming of scriptures and their participating in teachings. Listen carefully. The truth is not just a right information there are many right informations that are not the truth you have to understand this you only say an information is correct based on a reference unfortunately the reference itself can be wrong are we together now there is something that science science has pieced together a body of facts and whoever aligns with that body of fact with respect to science is walking in the version of the truth. Is that true? But science itself must be vetted by someone higher than it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Culturally speaking, there, are, there is a system of understanding and behavior built by culture. And to the degree to which you align with it, we say you are walking in the truth. So there is a lot of relativity when it has to do with the subject of truth. What is permissible to a person and within a context may not be permissible to another person within another context. But here's what Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, not a truth the truth that means i am the ultimate system of freedom and liberation an encounter with the truth makes men free if you claim to have knowledge of the word of god if you claim to have found something you think is true and it does not produce the requisite freedom then it is not the truth it may be something else. It may be a well-meaning information that is correct based on a historical system of agreement. They have agreed that whoever does it this way. I give you an instance. In our world today, if a woman just looks at herself and says, I want to get pregnant without a man, that is not true as far as the educated opinion of men is concerned. Is that true? But when the truth was ready to find expression, there was a system that was created that would have been told a lie by science. Be careful what you call true and false. There must be a reference because with respect to God, there are some things that are agreed as true by men. But then when it comes to God, God says, no way. Lazarus died. That was the truth. Based on what doctors like David and his colleagues would say, they had checked him and there was no pulse. It was over. But when the truth came, he said, what did you say? Three days, roll away the stone. This is the truth. If it is the truth, he sets men free. Are we together? They buried the truth and covered it in a grave. After three days, the grave opened and the truth came out. If it is truth, then it must set free. The question is, 
why are we still helplessly under so much bondage we pray we fast we sleep on our bibles we quote bibles we listen to tapes yet it looks like our situation is not even scared of our spiritual investments could it be that we are not encountering the truth even before Pilate, the proof the truth prevailed the moment jesus said look leave the issue of king i am truth Pilate said what is truth and he said this man is free I may not understand what truth is but I'm a victim of the effect of that truth I must let you go I must let you go what if you knew the truth about your life and destiny what if you knew the truth that you were not a victim of situations and circumstances what if what they told you about your upbringing was a lie it was culturally true but from the reference of God is a lie what if your past and what he told you were a lie with respect to God? A lie is not a wrong information. A lie is any information that was not brought from God. It's a lie. It doesn't matter how right it is. If it did not originate from God, then it's not true. Ah. Truth. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7. 2 Timothy, when you read from verse 3 and verse, uh, chapter 3 and verse 7, the Bible talks about this group of people, zealous people like we are. It says that they are ever learning. Please look up. Ever learning, but never able. Learning does not guarantee an encounter with truth. That you are sitting with a Bible does not mean you are encountering truth. That you are sitting with a tape did you hear the testimony of the dear lady who was listening to the seven days um, prayer and fasting? She said she had been listening to it. Just because you started the tape, started and finished with your ear hearing it does not mean you can counter the truth. She said at that point, a prayer came and light opened. And all of a sudden she received. And the results showed immediately. A friend that had no business helping her. That's the truth making a way now. The truth always makes a way. Don't leave no uncle nonsense. You don't need. Once the truth comes, the truth will find a way around it. Because the truth is not just an information. The truth is also a person. So when the truth comes into the womb of a barren woman, what happens? The truth starts making a way. It finds out what is the issue first. And they said, ah, this woman has no womb. And the truth said, there is still a way. There is still a way. Prophesy to yourself and say, there is still a way. Look at the challenges that stand before you. That you cannot see a way does not mean there is no way. Just stop looking for a way. Let truth come. Truth knows where the way is. Ah! You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. With your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And I'm standing here only because you made. Sit down, let me tell you. There is no uncle anywhere who is going to help you. There is no... A, an uncle only helps when the truth makes him part of the actors of your breakthrough. Nobody just comes because he knows you. Ye shall know the truth. Many of us are trying to find ways and methods. Whereas the secret is to stay until the truth comes. When the truth comes, light must come. Let me show you something. Let me show you something that will bless you. What's, what's, the, what's the scripture now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Um, Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Give us from verse 11 and 12. Isaiah 29, verse 11 and 12. Let me show you that just because you have a book called the Bible in your hand does not mean you have access to truth. Read it with me. He said, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. It did one that is what? 
learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot. Not because I can't open it. It is sealed. Sealed. Next verse. <laughs> and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Both the educated and the uneducated stand helpless in the presence of this book. Where is the key? How do men read it? I thought by being learned, I will automatically understand it. It is not science. The book is sealed. There is a spirit with the key that opens it. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Listen, listen book you see has written in it the codes of your destiny but it is always sealed i told you everything glorious is what covered no glorious thing is revealed you don't buy a product without a package so your destiny is there but it is sealed going to school is very important but when it comes to the matters of the spirit my brother my sister don't let the pride of education make a fool of your destiny that's why we have many intellectuals who brag and say what is god a can become c and they are trying to make c out of a forever whereas the maker is truth a foolish man can come with his foolishness and sincerity and say lord i, I can't amount to much my life you see is a testament of this they are life to those who find them. When you find it, it looks like a charm. It's impossible for life to keep you down. This is not some bragging. No, if it is the truth, if you ever see a mountain start laughing, there must be a way. There must be a way. Pilate looked at Jesus and said, if you are a witness of the truth, then I find no fault. I'll let you go. Are you learning something tonight? It's not just opening the Bible and then reading, oh, James chapter this, the Bible said this, in the name of Jesus, I will never be. That's, that's just, that's, that's scripture. You are just playing games. Many of us keep flattering ourselves for many years, thinking, I'm not saying reading your Bible is not important. I have found the missing key why many well-meaning believers don't get results. They are not lazy. They are more serious than even some of us pastors. Take laziness out of the equation. Why is life hard for many people? What is the mystery of this hardship? Close heavens everywhere. No help, failure, pain. There is a, an explanation. The book that you have been reading is sealed. That you got a message from me to preach does not mean it has been open to you. No, sir. Have you ever opened a scripture and then you are reading, you've been reading it and all of a sudden you see something there that you never saw and then you can mark that day and say something shifted. That, that portion of scripture was open to you. I remember studying about the anointing for many years. I read books and books. A lot of people got their revelation from Good Morning Holy Spirit. You've never had me mention it. Because I didn't get anything from it. I read it. Good morning, Holy Spirit. I was blessed, but I didn't see anything there. And I just stayed. If you continue, that's the key. And then one day, the portals, when it opens, it is open. When Jesus stood for to read in the temple, the Bible says they brought to him the scroll of Isaiah. It was open. And he said, this day, you have been reading it and thinking it's some prophet somewhere, but I am the manifestation of this. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you this. 
if we don't get serious with our lives to find truth we are going to keep convincing ourselves and jumping around quoting scriptures that for a very long time our lives will not capture the levels of freedom that befits one who claims to have that knowledge of truth i know many wonderful lovely men and women of god struggling around the ministry sincere they won't steal nothing they won't do anything notice that both the learned and the unlearned are still victims of the same thing so what is the key i will show you <laughs> ah, i will show you ephesians chapter 3 Ephesians chapter 3. We're going to read from verse 1 to 5. Note this. You know, there are many people who keep talking word of God, word of God, word of God. I don't have a problem with it. It is true. But we are missing something very vital. Vital. The book by itself is sealed. You will only read a, you will read stories from it. For this cause, I, Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Uh-huh. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word. What is the grace? How that what? Uh-huh. He made. Stop. He made. I didn't learn it. How that by revelation, he made. Who is the he? Someone came to me and opened the book he made known unto me the mystery as i wrote afore in few words verse 4 whereby when ye read when ye read ye may understand my knowledge the basis of what you are reading is not just that i wrote someone came and opened something to me and i want to help you too because if all you do is to just read you will not find anything it says when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ verse 5 which others which in other ages was not made known so this thing is made known it's not studied it's made known it's like occult it is made known if it has not been made known my brother my sister let me tell you you will fast and pray and never find it it is made known a man can receive nothing except it is given this is how we rest in the kingdom we keep struggling and thinking is just by all of these things no your press and then he comes to make it known if god does not make it known you will never find it it is so obvious yet you will look and look and never find it it says which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by who is the he talk to me who is the he so the he comes to you and says this book cannot open except i am there The book can give you the word, but the spirit can show you the truth. You need truth. That's what you need. You don't just need word like word like that. When you say this, many believers think you are encouraging people to not be serious about the word of God. Let me tell you in all honesty, I doubt, I, I doubt if I've seen any man that is more passionate about the word of God than me. There may be, but I've not seen one. But I found out that your life is going to be a chronicle of frustrations if you don't understand how truth comes out of the word. It says, which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets. Jeremiah 33, please, and verse 3. Help us, media. Jeremiah chapter 33. Please read with me, Koinonia is projected inside and outside. One to go. Uh-huh. Stop. I will what? I will what? I will show you great and mighty things 
which thou knowest not doesn't matter how long you've been studying it he said you don't know it that's why the results are not speaking but when you call on to me i will answer and the answer is that i will come and i will show you brothers and sisters listen to me we have ignored the holy spirit and carried bibles all around hoping that just by reading it intellectually we'll be able to put a and b together and the bible tells us that the mysteries in this book are sealed that's why they are called mysteries when you read the bible outside of the ministry of the holy spirit all you will see is potentials for possibilities you will keep seeing them but your life will never never experience them one of the greatest secrets in my life is the ability to allow the holy spirit to open up scripture open up scripture open up scripture john chapter 16 please we'll begin our reading from verse 12 john chapter 16 we'll begin our reading from verse 12 read with me please one to read i have yet many things to say unto you but ye cannot bear them now why because you are natural and these things are spiritually discerned are we together verse 13 how be it when he the what the spirit of truth not just the holy ghost the spirit of truth is come what will he do please talk to me he will guide you through the book he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come he will show you and you seen it all through scripture people are shown things people are shown things if you are not shown anything you will continue bragging around with scripture and never have results your assignment is not just to sit down and read your bible religiously your assignment is among other things to cry for the manifestation of the spirit of truth all scripture was inspired by him he knows the codes that are enshrined in this book but it is sealed it will take hunger to cry for him but brothers and sisters when he comes and opens it to you you and all others will stand in awe of your destiny this is the mystery behind great men this is the mystery behind great destinies a spirit came to them and showed them things whether it is in the occult or in the faith life nobody rises without being shown things he must show you and i was taken in the spirit ezekiel and i was shown this what have you been shown or what have you been reading you have been reading in the name of jesus i will never be poor you have been reading he owns the cattle on a thousand hills you have been quoting it you have been doing everything but you are just reading potentials it is sealed when the spirit comes he will not quote the scripture he will show you the quote in the scripture when the holy spirit comes he will not tell you no 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 he will show you something that may not make sense for another person there's something god showed me about the anointing there's something god showed me about growth there's something god showed me about victory there's something god showed me on how to deal with enemies whatever is not shown you becomes the gate to your destruction you have to find out what you have not seen and cry with all your heart and say lord show me let me tell you how you know you have not sh shown you whenever you do what is supposed to be the obvious solution and it does not work then it means there is more there is more apostle i, I pay my tithe apostle i give apostle i'm a sincere man of god i study my bible all doors are closed there is something that has not been shown you let me use the example of our dear pastor did you think that all the people that rose up for him just came to asaba in the last two months were they always there so what happened 
why was the climate harsh over him look how well meaning he is i've been to his meeting once an adorable man of god and his wife it's amazing how life does not give the excuse for you being sincere it doesn't say you are sincere and then no sincerity is not the seed for greatness you can be as sincere as possible and find out that you are a victim of everything bad you know pastors come to me and they say apostle i can stand before god and tell you i love god with all my heart i say i'm a man of god if you are lying i will tell you and then they now say apostle but why is life treating me this way like i told you was it last week or the week before last i begin to nod my head in pain because i know that um the solution is not just to pray there is something that they don't know and my brother my sister until this book is open to you and your eyes see your destiny will remain small we're all gathered today now scattered across inside and outside and those following online because god showed a man something your generation is dependent on what you see they are they are waiting earnestly to say man of god what has god shown you that you can bring to the table if all you are taking to destiny is your degree get set for a big shock if all you are taking is just your sincere heart get set for another shock if all you are taking is your uncles that you know my uncle somewhere my auntie somewhere no i don't study the bible to crime scriptures or to preach i search for light i search for truth there are very few people who ever know how i study the bible because if i teach you it will frustrate you i can stay on a scripture for a long time because there is something i'm searching god can show me like a code i can see half of the truth and see the other part two years later and until i see it i will wait but when that code comes pack 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 the seals are open and the results follow no devil stops it when when the seal is broken and open then your life will be a wonder even to you <laughs> favor is here but is sealed there is a mystery to it the anointing there is a mystery the helpers of your destiny are here the problem is not the book the problem is that it is sealed when you are not aware that the book is sealed then you are in trouble because you will continue to read how many churches have continued to read this every sunday sunday after sunday but there is no one to come to testify that this is what god has done please hear me i want you to learn some of you to take years to understand what i'm sharing with you as simple as it sounds your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your favor is real your power is real i testify when the lord gave me the revelation on the body of christ let me tell you this i didn't read it in any book i remember lying down like a child when the lord came with this scripture for this course the lord began to teach me that there are four encounters the son the spirit the word and the body and that the reason why many people never rise in life is because they've had the three encounters but not the body i said so there is something called an encounter with the body and my life changed every true apostle of the lord must deliver a mystery to a generation there must be something god gives you by the spirit this is not just bible study it is that he comes to you he doesn't come to me every time but he comes i remember when god was delivering to me the secret of church growth i read i study i've studied young Gicho's materials studied bishop oyedepo's materials but here he comes the code for your own destiny given to you that someone else will do and will not work for him because it was open for you 
that's why you see people doing things that should not work but it works I'm doing my best to try to explain this thing to you. Sometimes it's very difficult to understand, to explain spiritual things. All you see is the result that follows. But behind those results are strange encounters that walk together. And they make a way. They make a way. Brothers and sisters, look at me. I love you. That's why I'm teaching this. I can come and just talk to you and we laugh and joke. I am so passionate about your results. And the way many of us are going about it, you will never find it that way. I'm telling you this. I'm saving your life from frustration so that you will not jump like others have done for many years. And then one day you'll find out they are not even in the faith. And they say, don't bring any Jesus talk. I've tried him. It doesn't work. You only tried scripture when you try the truth sit back and watch it make a way strange ways in the wilderness ways that should not be there the truth will cut a way out of a rock the truth will cut a way out of a river and you will cross and they will look back and not be able to find the way again and they'll say hey, Jimmy, what way did you follow and you say i don't know the truth just made a way the Egyptians tried to trace the way that the truth made for the Israelites. They couldn't find it. They drowned. The song of Miriam, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Even the horses and the rider has been thrown. The same way somebody passes is the same way that kills another person because it has to be a way made by the truth for you. Someone can do a business that lifts him and you do a business the one that kills you because it's sealed it was not open for you someone can use the same word you are speaking to get favor you will use it and get destruction because you are just speaking light of the world you step down into darkness open my hands let me see Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Sing it one more time. You're the light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Listen. When you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, you are in a position where you will remain in darkness forever. Jesus himself told us why he sent us the spirit of truth. Not just to pray gibberish in tongues. No. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us men of God. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us pastors. The Holy Ghost was sent as the opener of the sealed book. To guide you into all truth. The book is there. But it must be opened by the wisdom and the intelligence of one who is not human. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. First Corinthians chapter 2. Please give it to us. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. Read with me, please. Everyone is projected. Just read and then you write it down. One, two, read. Uh huh. Not the spirit of the world. Stop. In any case, you must receive a spirit. So there is the spirit of the world that inspires men and opens codes for men based on the laws of life. And they can manipulate it and get some results. And God is saying, so that when you are inspired, you don't think it's the same thing that inspired someone somewhere. There are two spirits. There is the spirit of the world. A man tells you he was just sitting down and he made a discovery. It's a lie. Nobody makes a discovery. A spirit comes to you and opens up a portal of a reality. And then you quickly scrabble it and walk around it. And the whole world marvels. 
and they call you albert einstein and they call you michael faraday and they call you the right brothers the bible is saying there is no such thing as just a human invention by yourself it's not true a spirit must come to you and open up what is sealed but the spirit which is of god why that we may know the things that are freely given to us of god there are things that are freely given so says the book but the spirit of god the spirit of truth comes and opens you so that you will now comprehend and then you walk in the reality the light of it and my brother my sister your life will suddenly change in a way and manner your family members will look at you and say what charm what did you touch look at this come promise if by next week promise suddenly enters a dimension of the anointing a dimension of revelation and let's assume five jeeps come from different people around the world and is parked in front of his house nobody will say promise so you are this hard working someone will call and say promise come where did you go to who did you meet we know that the arm of flesh cannot produce that result who assisted you just tell me and he'll say well it's a long story are you ready to do what i say i'm ready now it's okay meet me by 11 30. let's go to one corner somewhere so everyone knows you would be you would be unwise to see what god is doing through my life and this ministry and believe it's just hard work no no what more do you need to see to convince you no man can do these things except a spirit be with him with god all things are possible without him on your own there are things that are not possible many of us have been fighting alone do listen to what i'm telling you and you will watch your life change in a way that will surprise you i kept thinking about this and i said lord look at what you've done with my life all because i saw the holy ghost and i said holy spirit i am weak i am dull in myself i'm not condemning myself is the truth I am ignorant I may not even have the strength but if for any reason you can hold my hand I am available just that one decision turned my life around I shared with you about my dream and vision you will get it in different messages I can't remember when I preached exactly that I saw a whole generation of people crying and they were saying there was no food no water and i wanted to go and rescue them but i was weak in myself but then i was determined to go out the moment i stepped out there was a giant mighty man he just held my hands and said let's go and if our god is for us then help me stop us and if our god is with us then sing one more time and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then we we'll prophesy to yourself. your enemies criticize you and waste their time there is nothing that can be done about a man who the holy ghost has held his hand nothing it's too late once the holy ghost holds your hand and says let's go you will climb mountains and walk through valleys when the door settles you are still standing and you will say to you be all the glory and men will say how are you doing it it's not by charms it's not by brain work this is not a plus b no
you see that I treasure the Holy Spirit so much to a point that many people just say, oh, this, this, this spirit thing is too much. Just focus on the word. You keep doing it that way and see whether your destiny will be open. I believe in the word, but the word is useless until the spirit breathes upon it. He is the one who gives life to the word. The first, the first person of the Godhead revealed was him, not the word. The word came after he was revealed. In the beginning, look at the order. God created the heavens and the earth. We didn't have an opportunity to see how that happened. In verse 2, there was darkness. Then the first of the Godhead. If he was the first in the creation of earth, he must be the first in your life too. He's showing you how to come out of chaos. Many of us just stand religiously. Acts chapter this, John chapter this, and we keep jumping around. And the Holy Spirit says, no, it is sealed. That's why an unbeliever will carry the Bible and all he will see is a compendium of controversies. You will see things that don't add up in scripture. God saying this one and God saying another thing and saying, uh -uh, God says doesn't lie. See how many lies he made because you are reading what is sealed. But when the spirit of truth comes, he will open your eyes. Others are looking, but you are seeing all of a sudden. You will see something others are not seeing. And then you will walk in a dimension they are not working in. I cry to God and say, Lord, this man is a weak man. You have to help me. And the Lord said he will help me. And all of a sudden, my life changed. I'm introducing to you not just a book, you have it. I'm introducing to you not just tongues, you can pray in tongues. I'm introducing to you not just God in you, you have him in you. I'm introducing to you what Yongicho will call Holy Spirit, my senior partner. If anyone ever tells you what is the secret behind Apostle's life, if you say prayer, you are lying. If you say Bible study, you are lying. If you say worship, you are lying. If you say sacrifice, you are lying. All of those are secrets. The greatest secret is that a weak man holds a strong God who makes that weak man a strong man. That's what God can do. That's what God can do. The treasure that is in earthen vessel, but held by a superior power that no force, no cause, no witch, no devil can stop. He told Joshua, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Brothers and sisters, don't you see? You have been trying in the flesh. You have been doing, oh, I, I think if I, if I buy one golf now and I do this and I understand this and that investment, I will rise. And the Holy Ghost just stands back and watches the ignorance. And you, I, I know, let me just get one golf. I will be getting 10, 10,000 every week. I'm a smart businessman. Then if I get another job in the bank as you are calculating it, I'm not saying those things are useless, but here he stands, the gentle spirit, watching your ignorance and your pride punish you. How can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you run when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind? Power at work in you, change. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? It's a little here, a little there. You know they Holy Ghost, you're the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. Hey, you're the Holy Ghost, Center of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, Seal of the Age to Come. You're changing. Everything in the 
that's the secret no matter how dull you think you are no matter what village let them laugh at you while you walk many people laughed at me years ago for holding his hands they laughed and today they buried their head in shame for holding my hand the holy ghost is not the president of a nation the holy ghost is not the ceo of a bank the one who turned chaos in genesis 1 verse 2 to light holds your hand and someone laughs at you what pride when he held my hands i knew nothing about the anointing when he held my hands i knew i had no zero wisdom you were better than me when he held my hands i wasn't as smart as you but i was stupid enough to hold him and say no matter what it is i hold your hands i hold your hands he will hold your hand as you go to the nations people will talk and say let's watch what will become of him and swallow their words after many years because there is a hand there is a grace he is the creative power behind this ministry the wisdom you see is not the wisdom of a man you will read books and read books and read books and be tired and never find it because it is a is sealed are we together sealed all of the things i do today about the anointing he taught me how could i have known how old am i aren't you seeing that what what is happening is more ancient ancient this is not the wisdom of a man Kadosh. Kadosh. you are mighty on for me to celebrate things like birthdays what what are you celebrating who are you really celebrating take him out of my life and the secret of a foolish man outside of him is revealed but when he stands with you thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph listen I say it again there is nothing you can do with a man that the Holy Ghost has held his hands. No, sir. No, sir. It's a grand formula for victory. When he came upon Jesus, he turned Jesus to Christos, the Christ. Jesus was just a carpenter's son. Just anyone on the street. But when the Holy Ghost came, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, when he comes to your business, he will change it in a way that will surprise you the spirit of truth when it comes to your ministry listen let me tell you this i never listen i never stop getting amazed at the formula people invent in hope that will work out whether for ministry or whatever i teach you principles here 
But principles will never replace presence. Principles only become useful when presence is intact. God is not science. Listen, oh brilliant people. I may not be as smart as you. And I beg your pardon. But if it has to do with victory in this life, someone must hold your hands. And someone must show you. The physical principle of fatherhood should teach us that you never rise alone. Someone must hold your hands and lift you. We have ignored the Holy Spirit because of the embarrassment that follows walking with him. Oh, I tell you, there is big embarrassment walking with him because your way will not be the regular way of people. Because your life will not be within the context of others. But if you can be foolish to still stay and say, Holy Spirit, where will I go to? Jesus said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? You alone have the key. I have watched people mock God I have they have not mocked God by mocking God directly they have mocked God by mocking his wisdom ah. there are people looking for anointing reading books getting all kinds of formula do a plus B add C to it then the power of God will move let me tell you this I say this by the authority of the kingdom you are wasting your time God is not a herbalist. It's only a herbalist you can receive charm from without a relationship. But when it comes to God, he will not show you power first. He will reveal himself. Moses wanted to see his glory. He said, no, 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 Moses. I am that I am. Let's, let's discuss first. Every promise God made to me, I have watched it come to pass. As at the time he said it, I never knew how it would happen. But God, when he speaks, be foolish enough to believe that, Lord, you are able. God is able to do strings. Just what he said he will do. He's got a force. not the Holy Ghost you are holding. Koinonia, hear me. I keep introducing him to you. Hold his hands and watch what he will make out of your life. Leave all the, the unwise people who keep mocking God. Just do A and B. C must happen. Who are you to make C happen? How old are you to make C happen? A plus B does not guarantee C in this life. The person to make C happen can die. But when God holds your hand, Anything plus anything can become anything. Doesn't make sense. Look at this. The dear pastor comes and all of a sudden a hand is laid on him. It's not a hand that is laid on him. It's more than a hand, my brother. If it's just laying on of hands, you go and do it. A hand is laid. He carries that possibility. Enters a land that was not favoring him. And all of a sudden, things start changing. I am a blessing to you and to the world today. Simply because of his ability to help me. Ebenezer is my testimony. 
I am a man who has been helped by God. Helped in every way by God. Ah, he said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, with the enemies that fool the world, with the enemies of the gospel, where do you stand when God does not hold your hand? The results that we now celebrate, glory be to God, but they are products of Him. Listen, if you think good preaching is what is going to give you influence forever, save Johnny. I wish you the best of luck. Go and search the Bible and search history and find people like Alexander Dewe who communicated mysteries that at the end of their lives they were almost committing suicide because even if knowledge abound they will cease knowledge will cease all of these things will cease but when you want to become indestructible in this life hold his hands and do what he tells you to do and walk with him don't command him and say holy spirit my boy go and bring me money that's what many of you are doing holy spirit my boy go and bring me my wife go and bring me my husband go and bring me members go and bring me prosperity and he says when i came to you was i a tenant or the landlord the word of god the holy ghost was given to us among other things to unseal this for many years i read my bible did you know for many years there were times that i would not even read my bible for a while i would just carry the devotional repent and read it do you know why many of you open the bible and it wearies you you are looking at it but you are reading something that is sealed that's why you cannot get life from it you will open today you don't know what to read no not when he's guiding you tonight we are going to pray we are going to take serious time to pray we are going to pray and embrace afresh his ministry in your life his person in your life he is the secret whether you are a businessman whether you are a husband you are a wife you are a man of God you are a woman of God the starting point of your victory is hinged on your passion and your love for him listen let me tell you this before we begin to pray listen to me carefully when I was writing the things that I now do that the Holy Spirit was revealing to me at a point in time I just sat down and I said Holy Spirit you must be joking is this it this foolish I think I'm smart the thing with God is the Spirit of God is very gentle the moment you begin to interrupt his wisdom with your I too know mentality he just steps back you do it your way go ahead and do it your way some things in our lives are not just an attack is us alone without him whether satan was existing or not is the same trouble you would have that is the natural consequence of ignoring him i love him so much koinonia is built on intimacy with the holy spirit he's the one who has given the word of god value look at what the messages are doing around the world do you think that is just because the message is so powerful no if he holds your hand he holds your finances he holds whatever comes from you someone called me the other day and said they were inside a taxi a cab and the cabman every time he picks you he, he, his own gift to you is that he will play one koinonia message i don't know the cabman and he just continued like that there are people who have met angels who gave them koinonia messages not human beings they entered meetings and gave them messages i i was I'm true to, to god i don't share all these testimonies i was told of someone who bought a memory card new memory card new brand new memory card slotted it in his phone and all he saw was koinonia message new memory card with seal seal he opened it i'm not lying to you a pastor from gambia 
a great a great man of god from gambia we spoke yesterday he said he was so depressed and he got to a point where he was washing plates in his house and he didn't know what to do and all of a sudden he said he, he just went on youtube and how he got across one teaching and as soon as he got that one teaching his life changed he said by next sunday the church changed and exploded he saw the manifestations of the spirit the word seeds were coming and he said who is this he introduced it to his wife the wife listened to the same message he did the wife didn't know the message he had listened to but she went to search on her own and listened to the same message you had the pastor that came last week from abuja just arriving here someone calls him to buy 300 shares it's not the work of a man no sir our parents are struggling now and suffering because they have embraced every other thing except him our our world is dying because we have ignored him don't join them don't join them to ignore him already your past the family background you came from is already a disadvantage on its own the only advantage in your life is him when you find him he will forget about your enemies forget about critics i'm telling you don't waste your time just leave all those things stay with him let him hold your hand my brother my sister and watch what he will do with your church and watch what he will do with your business and watch what he will do you may be crying while you are holding him i guarantee you the cry of pain will soon become the cry of joy you just hold his hands worship him hold his hands as you sing don't carry skill and a nice voice alone we live in a wicked world if all you carry is a nice voice you will not last one year human beings will suck you like an orange and throw you and look for the next happening thing but you remain fresh when you hold him impossible to be ignored impossible to be ignored he's gonna fulfill every My God is able. He truly is able. Listen. Look at me. In Nigeria today, an average young man cannot get established without some kind of bribe or some kind of things. To have to corner and lie and do something. You want to walk in integrity and righteousness the environment is already hostile against you the fact that you name the name of christ alone is trouble for you they will hate you at your workplace hate you everywhere what then is your advantage your advantage is not just the miracles that he brings the advantage is him if you can hold his hands and say holy spirit i am weak i confess my ignorance i don't know so much i know that if i try to be established my way the church will never grow the influence will never grow but i submit to you you are the fountain of wisdom you are the spirit of truth open up to me and then the holy ghost will say all right you step back and then he will show you a b c and your life changes you will stand as shocked as those looking at you and just nod your head and say god what are you doing i hardly share my testimonies i had to minimize it because of wisdom and so that it can encourage people to rise there are things brothers and sisters if i tell you some of you will not sleep i myself the recipient of that testimony sometimes i wake up in the night and just sit on my bed and say lord what is this what is this you are the mighty god hey.
that song. That song had been in my spirit for throughout last week. I don't know how to sing. You are going to sing that song. After it, we are going to take our time and pray. Help us, please. Jesus asking for anything we are going to take our time and pray in the spirit one of the mysteries that we were given to accessing the mind of God is praying in the spirit I'd like you to take out time and just blast in tongues and pray seriously in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere inside outside those online follow us as we pray Ima Toriata, Ima Toriata, 
and I come to you. You are the only one who can make meaning out of my life. I come to you. Lift your voice and pray and cry. Cry ah. for his presence in your life. Get tired of things not working in your life and cry for his wisdom. Oh. Cry for Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Lord, I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I'm tired of making I ask for your will. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Spirit of Truth. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Then the secret was revealed. Daniel did not find it. Then the secret was revealed. Then the secret was revealed. I don't know what area in your life you need to see the hand of God desperately. I'd like you to open your mouth and say, Lord, show me. There has to be a secret. Open up this scripture. Hey! Open up this scripture. You are the custodian of the wisdom of God. You are the custodian of truth. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me the secret to the anointing. Show me to the secret to increase. The secret to ever increasing fire. The secret to spiritual power. The secret to influence. The secret to activating my destiny. Show me alcohol. The book is sealed. Open my eyes. 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 What must I do to prosper? What must I do to rise? 
What is the key in the spirit? What is the key in the spirit? Listen, look up. When Jesus, watch this. When Jesus was transfigured, he showed us the secret to his transfiguration by the appearance of two men. The law and the prophet. Not just the law of Old Testament. That if you want to be transfigured, the principles of the kingdom and the ministry of the prophetic standing side by side like Moses and the prophet becomes your key to rising. When Jesus was transfigured, we saw two men. Elijah did not appear. Enoch did not appear because they were not responsible. They were not the spiritual mysteries. The Bible says that Moses, Moses stood on one side and Elijah, I meant to say, sorry, Ezekiel and other prophets did not appear. Elijah was standing representing the prophetic. Moses was representing the law. And he said, the book that contains those laws, don't let it depart. He's showing you how to succeed. Jesus did not just rise like that. The law, not just the law of the Old Testament, the precepts of God. You can have all the principles, but there is no prophetic voice and you remain there no glory you can do something that should prosper because there is obedience to principles but there is no voice it's like ingredients if you have rice you don't need as much tomato as you need rice but don't put the tomato and say you can't say you have jollof rice because of that small tomato including salt sometimes you you need one mutu of rice and then a few spoons of salt but you refuse to put that salt and see how it will mess up the whole food something you may be missing because your eyes have not been opened you've done everything but the last key to just strike it and open it that's what i keep doing all the time that's what i keep doing all the time when I speak over your life, I'm not repeating myself. When I speak over your life, I'm standing to fulfill all righteousness in the spirit by the wisdom of the spirit. I've taught you that Jesus walked under a closed heaven for 30 years as the word of God until a prophet came to his life and spoke and baptized him, immersed him and his heavens were opened. If Jesus operated an open heavens for 30 years till he met John the Baptist in the spirit and power of Elijah, your destiny will close almost forever until there is a voice. Listen, listen. I want you to get to a point in your life where you no longer fight spiritual realities. The earlier you learn this, the better for you. Do it before you start having children. Do it before it gets too bad. Because darkness for sure is covering the earth. And gross darkness the people. But upon you the glory of God will continue to arise. It's not just because you are a man of God. We trade secrets in this kingdom to stand. And one of it... Is the Holy Spirit holding you but not just holding you opening to you the mysteries of the kingdom continue to read your Bible but don't think you will find it just by reading you will get to a point where he will give you the eyes to see they are life to those who find them that means he's missing no until he opens it to you I found certain things in my life. It was Bishop Oyedeko that shared with us that he found the key to kingdom prosperity. And he spinned round and shouted, Yay, I can never be poor. I'm sure people laughed at him. But you found it. If you found it, you found it.
I want you to succeed. I want you to excel. I'm showing you the precepts of the kingdom. Listen, take luck out of it. Don't call what you don't understand luck. That's arrogance. There is a very serious dynamic working that you are not aware does not mean nothing is being engaged. You will see what will begin to happen to your life shortly. When men say, why is it happening like this? Don't lie that you don't know what you did. Yes, it is, it is the Lord's doing. That's why it is marvelous. A man's doing cannot be marvelous in your eyes. A man's doing is natural. That's why I don't clap for you for walking. Because it's a man's doing. Men walk naturally, born again or not. But there are results that when we see, we know that this one is the finger of God. Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. For no man can do this except God be with him. It's a message I want you to carry to everyone you love. Jesus said, come on to me. Are you seeing now? Come on. He, 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 does not wisdom cry? Come on to me. Why will you continue to suffer and struggle? Listen, I'm bringing us to a point where we fulfill Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not. He's giving you a word of caution. Oh wise man, lean not on your own understanding. He says in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. He said, be not wise in your own understanding, verse 7. He said, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It is because we are wise in our own understanding. If God does not lead me, I don't have where to go. I don't trust what I can do. I will mislead people with my ignorance. But when he comes, you can dare the unbearable. You can stand and look at Goliath and say, Goliath, you come against me with your bows and your spheres but I come against you in the name of the Lord God the captain of the host of heaven whom you have defied and Goliath you don't mind him while he's talking am I a dog that you are coming with a sling say just keep watching it's the same way God can give you an instruction by the Holy Ghost you've been dancing all the time but the Holy Ghost will wake you by two and say just dance to 230 it's not the ordinary dance you just finished dancing. That dance will give you twins. That dance will give you an estate. And if people ask you, how did you get it? You say, I dance. They say, please don't turn us into idiots. How did you get it? I know you did all those church things. I said, well, should I lie? I'm telling you how I did it. The mysteries of the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom. I want to release my faith with you in one minute I want you to be sensitive to from today till Sunday but I want you to ask the Lord for three major things that you want to see done in your life things that don't ask for small things carnal things ask for something that is destiny shifting ask for something that that is able you know Elisha had no business Gehazi had no business ha having his eyes open. But when he was close to Elisha the prophet, he said, I'm not seeing what you are seeing. And he said, okay, let me make your eyes see. He didn't say just, mm, take advantage of my spiritual climate and see what I'm seeing. A man came in the midst of Samuel where a prophet was. And all of a sudden the hand of God was upon him. He prophesied naked from morning till night. Not because he had been praying and fasting. People have prophetic implications. Everybody walks with the spiritual climate that they carry. I want you to be humble enough to pray and ask God. Some of you is your family. You are crying for an intervention that must step in. I'm going to give you the next let's use the next five minutes i truly am going to be interceding for you i'm not praying for myself i just want you to pray and agree lift your voice and pray don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time go ahead and pray
hallelujah listen you are going to pray but many of you i am you're not you're not it's not the zest of prayer let me tell you something they met the disciples of jesus and say why don't these guys fast we are fasting and these guys are eating yet they are getting the results we are not getting and jesus said for as long as the bridegroom is there so there is something the presence of the bridegroom can do there is an advantage you can take the bridegroom is the one who the marriage feast is for are we together now the covenant of the marriage is with the bridegroom but because you are supporting through a covenant of alignment he's saying there are some things that you may not need to do when the bridegroom is not there in other words i'm not ignoring that principle it is what you should have done except for the fact that another presence was introduced that can immune you from it i needed to share that scripture just to help you there are some things that ordinarily that's the way you are supposed to do but god brings men to your life that you can take advantage of and expedite your journey ordinarily the disciples were to fast jesus said i'm not fighting fasting they will fast one day but for now as long as i am here uh -uh. there are people that when you are around i know people that just because you are around them you may never read any book on finances i'm telling you sincerely except you just want to add to your knowledge the least the their their greatest state is still higher than your greatest dream their presence if you meet prince charles and prince harry and say i just got you a book on five levels of wealth he will congratulate you for being that courageous to enter the buckingham palace and say walk out of this place do you know why because as long as they are in the palace if they are out of the palace they will do a lot of reading but as long as they are in the palace I teach you mysteries always find out what advantage you have based on who you are connected to not just God alone there are some things you are doing that if you have knowledge you should not be doing you should have others may be doing it if I'm a pastor in living faith today I, there are some things I should not do if I'm a pastor in MFM today and I have problem with my prayer life, I think something is wrong. There is a grace I should drink from freely. If I'm not a pastor in that place, I may need to dissipate some energy. But when God calls men, he calls men with certain possibilities. And when you come within that covering, that thing should work for you. I keep drumming this thing, but many people don't get it. It's true. It's true find out those who are genuinely connected to this anointing there are things they before they even learned the principle the result was already speaking it's true as long as the bridegroom is there you are immune when the bridegroom leaves so you can learn the principle so that you are not just dependent helplessly on the bridegroom but you can take advantage of the presence of the bridegroom You can carry a handkerchief from Benny Hinn and put in your pocket and enter a meeting and be surprised yourself at what is happening. Simply because you made contact. Do you not see that God will be wicked to allow you pray for everything? No. I don't pray for everything in my life. There are things that you can get. Jacob and Esau, those two guys, they were not praying for the blessing. They were connected to a lineage that had it. The father didn't say, okay, you guys. He said, just go and make me venison. Let me release something on you. Look at this. Esau did not receive the blessing. Yet see the prosperity that came. The fact that he came out physically. That's why Ishmael today, will the residue of that prophecy must always follow him. There are things that should happen in your life my brother my sister there are some things that god has done for you already walking trying to save yourself from sin by your strength is unnecessary it was done by those who the bridegroom did not come for so they used the blood of bulls but now christ has come and that sacrifice that you just received that's the same way there are other things that has been done he gave gifts to men
to ease their journey there are things in life are you ready to pray our time is gone i want you to open your mouth and pray pray unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Bible says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet he shall receive a prophet's reward he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man he shall receive a righteous man's reward Pray. Shapakoto sobrata kashubi adabaladaba. The Bible says, "May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Send thee help from Zion." Abalado sada bakato she adabalakotiya. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. Pray believing. Pray believing. Who are down mountain before Zerubbabel? Who are down mountain before this man of God? Who are down mountain before this woman of God? Who are down mountain before this family? Who are down mountain before this business? Who are down mountain? Hallelujah. Jesus looked at Peter and said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. But he said, but I have prayed for you. If he could pray for himself on that issue, Jesus would not need to pray. God doesn't need to do for you what you can do for yourself. Are we together? He said, Satan has desired to sift you like wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you. What was the content of the prayer? That thy faith fail not. He said, and when thou art converted, strengthen your brethren. How do you strengthen them? By teaching them that there are some things you cannot do for yourself. And when you find what you cannot do for yourself, find the grace that can make it happen for you. Peter, I see you in a situation now. I see that your capacity cannot go far enough to give you that miracle. So I came in for you. 
in this similitude advocate this mystery when you see people trying things and it's not working tell them stop 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 in this kingdom is all right to be helped find a grace Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. And as far as your level is concerned, Satan would have, he already had a headway. But I came in, Kabbalah Kutia, and prayed for you that your faith fail not. He said, when you are strengthened. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. One of the most uncomfortable things for believers to learn, especially because of the teachings that we've had, um, of course the Bible says you can do all things I believe the Bible says that because of the provisions that God has put in the kingdom are we together now yes when I say I will serve you jollof rice it's not just because I can cook it's because there is a way of getting it available the most important thing is that you have it so when the Bible says all things are possible it's because of the possibilities he invested within the kingdom are we together one of it one of the mysteries that make all things possible is the ability to tap from higher graces you are getting there one day but if God is to allow you get there before you get the result Satan will eat you up before you get there are we together so Jesus as a baby could not pray for himself so God put a grace in Hannah the prophetess to continue interceding until he would grow in wisdom as a baby he was killable so god had to put men to agree when he became strong he started standing for others when the disciples were weak in themselves jesus stood for them when they became strong they stood for others too that's how it works in the kingdom believe all the possibilities of the bible but be sincere enough to know what possibilities available at your level of grace and then you are able to find the grace and the anointing that can supplement otherwise you will stand in pride believing all things are possible and it may not work for you nothing aside from the operation of the laws of the spirit can exempt you now the bible tells us about abraham who was an idol worshiper that came from a land called Or of the Chaldeans. In Genesis chapter 12, the Bible tells us how that God told Abraham, come out of your kindred and your father's house to a land that I will show you. He began to propose to Abraham how that he would bless him and told Abraham, I will make you the landlord of the earth. Something will happen upon your life that will make the earth to become your possession. And then in chapter 14, when he went to capture Lot and bring him back, the Bible says he met a strange man called Melchizedek, who was a king of an ancient city of peace called Salem, the ancient name for Jerusalem. The Hebrew is Jerusalem, an ancient city of peace. A man, according to Hebrews, with no origin, no beginning, no end, no father, no mother. A man who was operating in the office of the priesthood. And the Bible says, when Abraham encountered this priest, a transaction happened between two of them. Please follow me. The Bible says, Abraham took the tent of all and gave unto Melchizedek. Do you believe that? He took a tent of all, gave unto Melchizedek. When he gave a tent of all to Melchizedek, Melchizedek received it and did what? He activated the blessing. He said, blessed be Abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and at once the earth started walking abimelech wanted to take his wife that is a bad situation is that not true but because of the blessing abimelech released the wife and gave him gifts gave him gifts a man one moment you want to take away his wife another moment you not only become his friend you honor him with gifts there is a mystery that governs this creation. Do you know what we call bad luck? You know what we call misfortune? Misfortune is not just an issue of witchcraft. Like ancestry. Misfortune is the resultant effect of taking from the designated portion. There is already an authorization. 
whether there are witches in your family or not that every time you touch god's portion you violate a law the earth starts reacting to it at once are you getting blessed now the destiny of abraham was opened up on account of this portion jacob who was the um son from the lineage of abraham watch this jacob worked for laban is that not true laban cheated jacob right he was about to give him a daughter and he said i will work seven years and then he exchanged rachel with leah and he worked for another seven years then he had been with him six years 20 years of oppression from a man but it still didn't matter because something was upon him and he said all right this is what will happen take your spotted calf i will take calves that are not spotted the bible tells us like begets like and jacob said from the calves that are not spotted if they give birth we will watch if the unspotted calf give birth to spotted children they are my own and the bible says he took ordinary stick it was not an ordinary stick brothers and sisters and the calves who come to mate just looking at a stick a white cow or a a a a, a, a spotless um animal will now give birth to another animal that is spotted it is not just creation was working for him when so even if you cheated him something happened and the cows all the animals started giving birth and laban said my goodness what is happening leave my presence that is a man who has honored god with his portion today i want to show you a dimension of the dominion mystery of titan watch this do you know why many people never walk in kingdom authority many churches are barren producing posters now i'm not against that but i'm saying every week hand bills every week running around scrounging for members threatening people with causes let me tell you why because there is a law that they are violating consistently and god is no respecter of person the laws of the spirit has equal value in any territory equal value Is God speaking to us tonight? When Moses died, please look up everyone. When Moses died, the Bible tells us how that he told Joshua, he said, Moses, my servant is dead. And now Joshua had a responsibility to throw down Jericho. And he was afraid because the Bible tells us that Jericho was a mighty city. Do you know the fence of Jericho? According to scripture, five chariots could stand on the fence. How will you break through that fence? That is a challenge. But he said, I will show you something. Watch this. Five verse one of Joshua. Open our eyes, O oh God. And let men and women walk away from their chains forever. And walk away from their chains forever. five verse one and it came to pass it will be a fast reading when all the kings of the amorites who were on the side of jordan westward and all the kings of the canaanites who were by the sea heard that the lord had dried up the waters of the jordan from before the children of israel until we were passed over that their hearts melted neither was their spirit in them anymore because of the children of israel now watch this they were about to challenge Jericho. And when the other kings heard of the mighty things that God did, the kings tried to decipher what is it about Israel that makes them always win battles? What is it that makes them, whether you have a greater armory than them, is insignificant. They will throw you down. There was a mystery of dominion they were working with and god was about to introduce joshua joshua was just a young ruler taking over from moses and this is what he told him let's see the mystery let's take chapter 5 verse 2 5 verse 2 are you there 
Now let's look at it. It says, At that time, the Lord said unto Joshua, Do what? He said, Make sharp knives. He's about to teach him how to continue in the steps of Moses. Make sharp knives and circumcise again the children of Israel the second time. Let's continue. Three. And Joshua made sharp knives and circumcised all the children at the heel of the four skins. And then, and this is the reason why he circumcised them. All the people that came out of Egypt were males, even all the men of war. They died in the wilderness after they came out of Egypt. Five. Now all the people that came out were circumcised. But all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way, when they came forth out of Egypt were not circumcised are you seeing that now all those who had been winning and making israel make progress it was because they were circumcised but he said these guys are not circumcised and if you don't circumcise them something dangerous is about to happen to you verse 6 it says for the children of israel walked 40 years in the wilderness and all of that and all of that let's go to verse 7 and their children whom he raised up in their stead, them Joshua circumcised, for they were uncircumcised, because they had not circumcised them by the way. Verse 8. Watch this. And it came to pass, when they were done circumcising all the people, they abode in their places. Watch this. Joshua is afraid of conquering Jericho and the walls that are before him. And God said, no problem. Heaven wants to come into your affairs. But you need to authorize them. It says circumcise the people. The moment the circumcision finished, verse 9. Let's see what happened. And the Lord said to Joshua, This day I have what? Rolled away the reproach of Egypt. My goodness. So all the while they were carrying the reproach. Because they were not circumcised. He said the moment a circumcision, a separation, a cutting away happened. He said this day. I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. Wherefore the name of the place to this day is called Gilgal. Go to verse 13. Let's see something mysterious that happened. Verse 13. Everyone look up. And it came to pass. Listen. Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes immediately after circumcision he saw a strange man who came and said i'm ready to partner with you you have invited the realm of the spirit into your affair that man had been there all the while but there was no access he said you need help you can't conquer jericho by your strength the realm of the spirit wants to partner with you but the secret is the circumcision the moment it happened the bible says he lifted up his eyes and he saw a man with a sword and he went to him and said are you for us or against us next verse and he said nay but i come i'm also a warrior but i fight in the spirit the same way you guys are warriors i am also a captain i lead a battalion i help men on earth who invite us to come seated on the throne and he said and Joshua fell on his face and did worship and he said unto him what saith my Lord to his servant next verse watch this and the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua lose thy shoe from off your foot from the place you stand this holy ground and Joshua did so next verse now Jericho was straightly short watch this let me just save our time are you noticing what is happening here immediately after the circumcision he saw the captain then the captain started revealing to him the strategy this is how you will take jericho otherwise they would have died there because physically speaking jericho was insurmountable now watch this your tithe in the spirit is similar to this spiritual circumcision your tithe is an authorization for the realm of the spirit to come into your affairs and partner with you this is the reason why even human beings for men men because men are the carriers of the seed men are instructed to be circumcised 
why not sir? how can a man come from heaven we believe children are the heritage of the lord but you will give birth to a man and he will still go through circumcision are you getting the point now because the moment circumcision happens the realm of the spirit comes come come watch this you are on your own minding your business trying to win the war of life by yourself and God is saying you are doing this thing sensually you are doing this thing carnally you never will be able to do it it says honor me with your tithe and the moment that happens there is already a spiritual arsenal that comes to work with you and that which you have becomes supernatural not just natural not just natural it becomes supernatural the reason why there is a crowd of people inside and outside look at this right to the road right everywhere let me tell you the reason why it is not just because this is a great ministry it is because we have beckoned on the assistance of the supernatural there are some people standing outside who are even shocked that they are here when you see them you imagine there is no amount of invitation you would have given them to come but for the realm of the spirit he said i am come as a captain in other words the same way you fight there are spiritual arsenals to wait in you have been trying to fight every battle in your life just by using physical arsenals and the lord is saying the earth is fighting you when you return my designated portion you authorize the realm of the spirit to begin to help you this ministry by the grace of god we are faithful never for any reason and by any means under the sun will we touch god's portion not out of fear but out of revelation my life as a person god is my witness that i honor him and that portion that belongs to him this is why i'm dangerously protected it's not about a man no 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 dangerously protected i share with you a simple but powerful mystery when pastor jakes was sharing and he said they picked somebody from his position and makes him a deputy manager deputy manager with interviews on phone you went to school and you are intelligent is that how it is done let me tell you the blessing breaks the rules for you it breaks the rules for you yes when men say it cannot be done it breaks the rules the problem is that we are too carnal we have intellectualized life life is spiritual say it after me one more time shout it like you believe it life is spiritual all that you see is not all that there is those who are controlling this world are those who have an advantage of the spirit you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne tonight God is asking you are you ready to stop struggling in life let me tell you struggling is a cause if you ever convince yourself that God is the author of your struggle I am telling you now struggling is a cause it's a cause from the pit of hell you will never be able to serve God if all you are doing in your life is looking for money because money is not missing you were never supposed to look for it hallelujah you will never be able to serve god if you allow this mammon the spirit that takes the heart of men away from god to begin to pursue other things trying to look for earthly relevance there are people who want to build a house but they want to build it physically by putting blocks you will die trying to build that house because there is a spiritual dimension to everything give us james chapter 2 verse 26 i hope we'll be able to find it i'm reserving it for next week by the way 
next week friday here is going to be a powerful vigil hallelujah yes next week is going to be a vigil it's going to be a time of prayer and worship we're inviting guests from all over now watch this the lord showed me this mystery and it changed my life i shared it in abuja i was reserving it to start the teaching next week but your hunger has tempted me to go to that scripture and let's let's touch it a bit paul watch this oh, sorry james the apostle james was teaching on faith and works corresponding action is that true and while he was teaching on faith and works he just feared off and brought a powerful principle in an attempt to explain faith and work he he, he compares it with something he says for as the body without what a spirit now all of you watch this guy the only reason that i can interact with him is because there is a spirit is that true if the spirit leaves this body what happens i will reject the body all of you will reject the body are you getting me and we will have to bury him because it is a body though complete it has no spirit are you getting me now i want you media please keep it there keep it there so that we'll... i want you to remove the word us and just read just the first line to the comma are you ready want to read one more time one more time for the body without the spirit is dead it is said for the body of man for any material thing that does not have a spiritual force backing it it is dead for any material business without a spirit equivalent is dead for any church without a spirit agency backing it is like a dead body it says for a body without a spirit so the nation of israel was like a body without a spirit and he said joshua you will lose you need the spirit component and circumcision authorized the spirit when the realm of the spirit came they said let's go we can take jericho and with one shout this was what david knew that as big as goliath was he was a body without a spirit the other people were looking from the three-dimensional realm ah goliath was shouting and david looked at him he said i see a body but there is no covenant no spirit what is the force in the spirit backing you and goliath said am i a dog even if you fight me honor me and david said you are joking you don't know who is talking i'm not alone I, I, you are an uncircumcised see the word again see the word again you are an uncircumcised I would have been afraid of you i would have considered your threat if you were circumcised where is the ties that connects you to the realm of the spirit and he said i'm circumcised i may be weak but there is a government that backs me when you get this key my brother you will run as if satan does not exist I promise you I promise you this you can jump around for deliverance you can hop from everywhere but the body without a spirit is dead so your boss in the office knows this and there is a spirit that backs his chair you just get up with your your certificate and sit on that chair and it becomes too hot because all in that office is not just a chair it's a throne there are spirits back in it that's why the bible said they that knew their god they that have connected with a spiritual advantage they shall be strong shall do experience rise from the realm of being natural and tap into the supernatural realm where the realm of the spirit assists you and your life will be nothing short of a wonder how many people listen i have given up on trying to do things by my strength because i know i'm wasting my time the body in the same way the next time somebody stands and threatens you that is a body without a spirit 
See, no matter what talk people talk, I only consider you if you are connected spiritually. Are you getting what I'm saying? I will deal with you. The body without the spirit is dead. I will make sure you leave this job. The body without the spirit is dead. You only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three dimensional realm. Because there is an assistance. Whether demonic or whatever. Are you getting me? Circumcision is that key. There are many who continue. Ah, we have a an extent. We are going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week, Friday. I will be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man. You will get up and jump and shout. Tonight, all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery, crying and asking heaven and say, Lord behold the sick people and already in this place there are more angels the arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know that's always what happens whenever you see me come to sit down i smile around the stage i would have died of hypertension if i'm responsible for your healing but we have made arrangement already we are covered oh yes absolutely we are covered heaven is jealous jealous to protect his own because God's designated portion listen when you steal your tithe you have not only destroyed your destiny you have stolen from your children every time you don't tithe just know that your firstborn is in trouble if you don't do it again you are affecting your children because he said, I will pour you a blessing you will not have room. In other words, no matter how greedy you are, your lifetime cannot exhaust it. So when you steal, you have endangered the destiny of your children. God's portion. If anyone ever told you tithing is all about money, that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong. Tithing has nothing to do with money. It's the law of open heavens. Let me surprise you. If your tithe is 10,000 and you carry 1 million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that 10,000, you are operating under a close heaven. Don't convince yourself that because you gave 1 million, the heavens is open. It is called due process. I will teach you next week. There is a protocol to spiritual things. Are you getting my point? Tithing is what opens your heavens. And then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper. If you like, carry one billion. Give charity organization. Give for the building of church. If you are not a tighter, I guarantee you, the Bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron. All of them are conductors of heat. Get set for heat in your life. When the heaven is open, if, not, if for nothing we know there is ventilation, fresh air, the wind comes. But when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron. Many of us here, no matter what prayer happens in this, that's why we took the communion. The devourer is authorized to destroy anyone who is not spiritually circumcised. The devourer is not a demon. The devourer is a principality. Even Jesus Christ acknowledged them. That's why he said he is the head of principalities. It destroys men's lives on legal basis. This earth is too wicked for you to allow chance. No. I pray for people all the time. People with cancers, HIV, tuberculosis, communicable diseases. Imagine if I refuse to be faithful. I would die like a chicken because most times I lay hands on people. And there are medical doctors here. They know that some of these things are physically not healthy. But I'm circumcised. My goodness. You invoke my name in a shrine. Both the invoker, the invokee, and the ordinance. It, they will burn to ashes. Ashes. 
no matter how mad a man is he doesn't enter fire by mistake he can cross the road and he says he's a madman but when he sees fire he fears off when heaven backs you let me tell you your life becomes a wonder even to you this ministry is a wonder to everyone not just because we are so smart we are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit because by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep cry out kadosh you are mighty on your throne On your throne, you were mighty on your throne. 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 You were mighty in this place. You were mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater. Greater, greater, mantos kalabandigalia. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Rababa Prayer point number one. Oh God, by the blood I cry for mercy. Where I've allowed the devourer, I have stolen from my tithe your designated portion. I've allowed the devil deceive me that the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize and I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Lift your voice. Your tithe is your spiritual circumcision. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Ask for fresh grace. Oh. And make a vow that you will never miss out on your tithe again. 
Make, make a vow. Not by fear. Listen, I give you an assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this. If you take what I've shared tonight, for many of you, this is your secret. It's your password to a mysterious level of lifting. A level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators. God's portion. The time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the lord is going to do i want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen i want you to confront the gates of your destiny and i want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice it's the seventh month the gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, it must open up. Some just victorious, some impostors, but we trust the name of our God. Just add one more prayer because I see the angels of the Lord already moving let me just add one more prayer listen I want you to pray listen there are giants on every mountain every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go but tonight i want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say i must go tonight lift your voice inside and outside cry I must walk away that carrying out disease must die today that cancer must live today that HIV 
life must go today. That barrenness must go today. That stagnation must go today. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person, are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are here to write, please one minute so that when we begin to flow we just move and we don't stop so you have one minute while you are praying in tongues just write your prayer requests very quickly so that when it's time to pass it you just pass it very fast make sure you don't keep silent write the issues that have threatened you and watch the god of heaven turn them into testimonies What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me what can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit. Lord, that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Now, I'm going to begin to minister to us. And while I prayed for this in the course of the week, again and again, I kept seeing, please pay attention. Can I have strings, 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 strings? Hallelujah. I kept seeing again and again, spirits, watch this, spirits leeching onto people. This is what I kept seeing. Like a man sitting on a man's shoulder. I saw this over many people. And I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord began to, re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families. And the Lord said, when I come up, he said, the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers. Dislodge those powers. I saw them like a man, like a child who sit down on the shoulder of another, bringing a resistance to your destiny. And I'm about to pray for you right now. There are so many people under the sound of my voice. So many people under the sound of my voice. They must go. Heaven is here to assist us. Lift your hands, everyone. Inside and outside. There will be such mighty deliverances outside. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I even see someone um, uh, suffering from severe migraine. But then that migraine you think is just sickness. We are about to make a shout, brothers and sisters. This shout is like the sling of David. It looks ordinary, but there is a circumcision upon it. It's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm. It's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men. It's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic. It's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now. There will be mighty deliverances. Mighty deliverances. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for us. And then at the count of three, we are going to shout that name, Jesus. My goodness. I sense the anointing of the Spirit. Heavy. The power of God will fall upon many of you in a mighty way. And you will see this Spirit. Some of you are already feeling uncomfortable. It's the power of God. Especially many outside. There will be mighty deliverances. Lift your hands now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of your Son, I pray right now and I sound an alarm in the realm of the Spirit. I decree and I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that the fire of the Spirit, oh, restrain not your hand, oh, mighty one. We pray that you arise as a man of war. There are destinies at the mercy of your touch. I pray that by this shout, oh God, there be a visitation. That by this shout, oh God, everyone here, under any spirit, help them please. Help them. Bring them out. Everyone here, under any influence, as we shout, let fire catch them and visit their foundations. And I command every power that at this shout, you will let God's people go inside and outside. One, two, Three, shout that name. I command witchcraft, powers of darkness, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, inside and outside, inside and outside, the fire of God is falling on people, falling on people. I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we are going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire. Physically, physically, right now in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. 
I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person. Right now, wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, the power of God comes upon that person. Hallelujah. 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 Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me. please lift your hands lift your hands i hear my spirit families families god is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now god is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating inside and outside we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of jesus 
families so i see altars on fire are you ready now father and his family under the yoke of bondage as we shout this name let there be a visitation one two three Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. And ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm hearing marital spells. Marital spells. Please lift your hands. Listen. Hear me. Something mighty is about to happen here. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as I begin to speak the wind I see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh God visit them right now in the name of Jesus one more time we will shout that name wherever they are one, two, three Jesus I'm hearing a name, Dorcas. Dorcas, a miracle is coming. Dorcas, an altar is on fire. And I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle. Dorcas. Dorcas. Come and stand here. Hallelujah. Who is Israel? I'm hearing a name Israel. Israel, the Lord is ministering to me. Tonight, he must let you go. Let you go. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is showing me a woman. You are here. You had a miscarriage. There is a woman here who had a miscarriage. It's like you had a child and you lost the baby. And the Lord is telling me, please help them, those under the anointing, so that we don't, this place is not rowdy. Hallelujah. 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 
Listen, let me tell you something. The anointing of the spirit does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The anointing does not make the difference. Without the anointing, we are just making noise here. But by the anointing, and I'm telling you this, no matter where you are, whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back, I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not based in Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying. She's where is she? Mina, Niger State. She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands. Father, change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord set you free. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in your yes, family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, it's sir. even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family. This sir. Amen, in sir. the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are doctors. Where is your mother, my dear? You. She stays in Kaduna. Why? The same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is saying, Why wouldn't she cry when the load is too much on her? Look at me. Like we shared, tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even you yourself otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship but hold my hands in the name of jesus lord bring rest to this lady bring rest to her in the name of jesus christ Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage there is a woman that had a miscarriage and the lord is asking me to minister to her we may not be able to minister to everybody but there is there is someone please make sure you don't sit back the lord is ministering to me about that person so that we'll just we'll just pray for her. Dogara, Dogara. I'm hearing a name, Dogara. Dogara. Who is Dogara? You. Your name is Dogara. Yes, sir. Where's your dad? He's at home. In Kaduna. He's, he's at home. In Kaduna. We have to pray for him. What I'm seeing will never, if they are vomiting anything, please and please, maybe carry them out. Of we are about to pray, please, don't worry. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident. In the name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. We cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Madam, I want to pray for you. The way I'm holding your hands, that's the way the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life and he's bringing joy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come. There's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. It's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. It's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage yes, sir. because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. And that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. Okay, you understand? Yes, it takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You will give birth to a baby boy. Oh. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Doctor.
Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand up, pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm, I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You're all Israel's, and I'll pray with you. Come. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman, but in the realm of the spirit, all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just do what I do. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now. In the name that is above all names. There is no hiding place. The light of God is against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is no hiding place for you by the blood of Jesus Christ. You must release this woman. It's a spirit of death. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your baby snake. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is liberty for this boy. There is liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. There is liberty. Hallelujah. Now all those who were brought out here under the anointing, I want, to, I want to speak to them now. Don't worry. Everyone out here, I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you. You know my voice, I represent the most high. At the count of three, leave them and go. Right now, one, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out. Out of them now. Out now. Never to return. At your Lord, live your life. Live your destiny. Restoration of virtue. Of grace. I cost that spirit from its foundation. I cost it from the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing in this place. Please, don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me. Rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You, this lady looking at me. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah. Come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying, and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? You believe me? You will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's rolling away your reproach, madam. The reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season. That's what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. The reproach of many years is being rolled away. I'm seeing like a baller. That's what I'm seeing. A trash place where they pour dirt. And I'm seeing a new seed shooting out. And that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny and the lord is saying i should tell you he's rolling away the reproach from your life in the name of jesus lift your hands and let's release miracle job if you don't believe in it put down your hand
command you by the blood of Jesus you foul spirit you have oppressed this body in the name of Jesus I break your covenant I break your ordinance there is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady it's not just her can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady I curse you now I curse you I curse you by the God of heaven and I curse you by my office in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I curse that power let her go now right now release her destiny release her family now by the blood of the eternal covenant she's free go release her now in the name of Jesus Christ let me tell you something listen listen people of God don't think we are playing games here I know you may see some of the things happening these are the powers that have tied down men's life it's not solved by counseling you are just moving in the physical yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound we are not embarrassed we are never embarrassed to set people free because that's what Jesus said there's got to be a way of setting people free hallelujah father jobs now in the name that is above all names i want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life lord i declare everyone called jobless here by the favor of god i terminate joblessness right now by the favor of god I terminate joblessness right now. Anyone who has applied for any job, I compel them to call you. I compel them to call your loved ones. I compel them to favor you. here called Agnes Agnes I'm hearing a name Agnes the Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes we we'll begin to pray for the sick shortly Agnes I'm hearing the name Agnes God is ministering to me he wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes do we have anyone there Agnes Your name is Agnes. Your name too. Your family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg mysteriously paining you, and it looks it's, it's like swollen. This is what I see in the vision that the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Your leg is swollen. Where is it? Which of the legs? Look what? Look, if if the devil, you remember I told you this a body without the spirit. Look what is happening to this girl. And then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife. Are you seeing that? Is is if it can look at one two three four five people holding one person imagine what it will do to someone's destiny i say this without a sense of cynicism 
many of the people that God is setting free attend churches every week look we need to restore the power of God in our churches and stop playing games with God because God's idea is not just for one platform hallelujah swollen legs no 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 don't you don't you don't have to madam i see you too. your legs for how long what's the situation with her is her leg swollen okay hold on she can't walk baby how are you hallelujah please help us with the mic who brought her okay no it's okay it's okay what's your name annie, annie? your name is ann agnes alice your name is alice you can't walk you can walk but your leg is bent oh my goodness look at such an innocent lady lord have mercy on this lady in the name of jesus christ I pray that the Lord will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick and we let them come out. I'm just ministering to special cases. Leg, your leg. All of you who had a dream, in a dream is like something was shot. It's like, I don't know if it was an arrow. I'm seeing something that looks like a dream. And something was shot on your legs. If the person is not here, I'm seeing someone who had that dream. It's like, I don't know if it was like a gun or something, or, an, or a, 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 a sharp object. I know that it was, it's like it was shot to your leg. That's night when I was sleeping. Something beat me when I was sleeping. I just broke up and screamed. So blood was coming out of my legs. I, I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to follow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like, it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the spirit. In my dream. You were shot. Fired at you. Yes. And what happened to you? I only I prayed when I woke up. You prayed dream. when you woke up. From the, dream. the Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God. And God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. Jesus' name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is your leg, yes. what happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining in me for me to stand or to walk almost two years. It's broken for Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? I, I can't stand like this. Some people are standing now. For me to stand still, you can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's you can't believe... stand Huh? Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it entered his thigh and came and out. Came out. The other this thigh. is the person I'm talking about. Yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his thigh up to present. This guy Where is, is he? Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos. Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, huh? sir. Yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Ben West Kate. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate. Yes, sir. From Ben West Kate. Hold yes, my hand. Father, visit this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I cast this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have new pains. Since Me. I, yes, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since so I you... Since I was sick for six months, but he used to swell up. But now I can't walk. I can walk and be hearing sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay. How about you? My leg is swollen for over five years. Five years. I cannot stand. Alone. Where is? Which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. 
for a long time. Mama, how about you? Two, two months. Yes. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs are swollen. Oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen. Permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now. Every wicked spirit leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your chest. The Lord is bringing you deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. This is witchcraft for five years. I'm seeing a spirit. Go! Go! In the name of Jesus, you can't remain in her. The swollen legs, I command the swelling to go down in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Mama, I pray for your leg. In Jesus' name, I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, I want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Look how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people, especially men of God, are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities we are going to do this very very fast all of you who are sitting make sure you are connected and um, you are participating while we are ministering to the sick I want you to pass your prayer request 
ushers you can walk around please make sure all those outside even those on the roadside make sure that we receive their prayer request because i'll be laying hands on it immediately afterwards myself and pastor Jax will be ministering to you whatever your challenge is i want you to believe god while you're standing lift your voice and begin to say lord i will not return back with this sickness in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus thank you jesus father i stretch my hands over your people let your healing power deliver the lord is healing someone of pile i'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time the lord is healing you right now you may be in the healing line but the lord is healing you right now hallelujah please make your way make your way it doesn't matter who lays hands on you there is a corporate anointing in this place hallelujah please as soon as we lay hands on you just go this way very quickly there are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up and there are still other things we need to do praise god matter what is wrong with you just a laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities Of this brother, 
the lens. Look at me. Leave him. Remove your hand from him. Look at me. Have you tried walking before? Huh? Lift your leg. Try lifting. Lift it. Lift the other one. Lift it. Lift it. You are mighty. Look at me. Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come. 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 Just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come. Come. Come, come on, you celebrate are mighty Jesus. Look at on this. your throne. Completely the legs are open. If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, Jesus, my heart will sing. Yeah. Heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Jesus. 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 My heart will sing. My heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Jesus. 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 My heart will sing. My heart will sing. Please, those outside, can we have it quickly? No other name, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, and as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stretch your hands as I pray on this. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Shaka parata katamaladaba. Lord, we are praying. Please make sure you are praying outside. Stretch your hands towards the screen. Say, Lord, I receive it. I receive it. Lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. There be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations into testimonies. Lord, we agree, we agree, we agree in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations to testimonies. Stretch your hands and keep receiving. I receive by faith. Come on, pray. 
all kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost all kinds of miracles Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be open, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, flow into this house in the name of Jesus. Testimonies, we are bound in great ways, Lord. Unprecedented miracles. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask for healings. We ask that, Lord, people that are insane, you cause them to be sane in the name of Jesus. We pray for contracts that long delayed. Lord, we pray that, Lord, they will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. And we pray for a shield of protection over your saints, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit. Let the fire of God call, come on cold altars in the name of Jesus. Let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us, Lord. We give you praise, blessed Father, for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit. We thank you in the name of Jesus we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony, I'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. 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 For many of you, it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ it's by the anointing it's not by English burdens are destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah this last segment you've heard me say it again this is the most powerful and most impactful segment if you're not a man of the spirit, you may not understand what I'm saying. Please help them. This is the most powerful of this segment right now. Before we go into this where I begin to prophesy, there are two dimensions to prophecy. There is the revelatory dimension of prophecy. That dimension of prophecy gives you direction. But the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension. That's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word never joke with the power of prophecy that's the power that created the heavens and the earth he said i prophesied as i was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of god i want to commit my life to the lord i've seen the miracles i've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven 
you know it right now having a christian name is not the same as having a relationship with jesus there are some you've given your heart to the lord at one time please help those under the anointing i tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now i sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why i'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying i want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of god and you are saying lord i have heard your word and i'm not ashamed to make jesus my lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now i'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. hallelujah hallelujah keep coming god bless you you have won it all for me hallelujah hallelujah you have won the victory sing hallelujah hallelujah you have won keep coming keep coming please hurry up and catch up with us Sasa di buchi Hey Sasa di buchi Yeah Sasa di buchi We did the pray yeah Sasa di buchi Don't sit back there when you hear the voice of the Lord. I appreciate every one of you for coming out. This is the way to the cross. Listen, no matter what you achieve in life, if your eternal destiny is not secured, it says, This is the testimony that God has given us eternal life but he said this life is in his son until you have the son you do not have that life lift your right hand forget about who is looking at you and in the name of Jesus I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart you are not reciting a poem it's not a special number this is a decision there's one of you here you smoke all these kinds of things it bow and the rest ah huh? but as you pray this prayer the power is broken over your life say after me as loud as you can from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and with everything within me this night I make Jesus Lord of my life I repent of my sins I declare that eternal life comes into my spirit I am born again I'm a child of God from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever I am a new creation in Christ in the name of Jesus the power of sin is broken over my life in the name of Jesus I receive of your life in Jesus name I pray now I stretch my hands over you and I declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of Jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of Jesus I declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life I release you from it right now 
every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of jesus it is wiped away i set you free i break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah i want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you will catch up with us in this prophetic session i want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentlemen now everybody rise please i want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the bible says revive thy work in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where god perfects all things as i prophesy to you please i want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time i know you are trying as ushers just stand around satan does not have authority i want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you when you ignore satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the lord lift your hands i prophesied as i was commanded You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation i pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you that Red Sea you are standing before by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this second half of the year. An anointing comes upon you and I prophesy cross every Red Sea. Cross every Red Sea. Cross every Red Sea in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every student here. Oh, for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding. I'm praying for you. Some of you, listen, as I pray now, some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head. It's an impartation of knowledge. Right now, oh God, I release an anointing to change the story of students. At the count of three, let it fall right now. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. Take it now. That anointing. Receive it for exploits. Shaka ta ta ta. Inside and outside. Take it for exploits, exploits, exploits. Hallelujah. 
everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy I command stagnation to end now 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 my goodness something is happening to your destiny every night season in your life every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now i see at least 100 people 100 people like fire 100 people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 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 parekete embratata lakata i prophesy by an apostolic anointing favor 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 everyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level i don't care where they are but i sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we're entering called august may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness shababa things happen around you you cannot see blood of spiritual vision i pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as i'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the holy ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now be free from it right now be free from it right now hallelujah there are many of us here dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction but for many of us our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there the Bible says they will dream dreams. It says they will see visions. Shakataba. Lift your hands. There will be an, a restoration anointing right now. I just want you to shout, I receive. Listen. Many things will happen to you. Many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions. Where God will start showing you the blueprint for the next level. Right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three as you shout, I receive. Let there be an impartation upon your dream life 
upon spiritual visions. One, two, three. Now you receive it. Receive it. Restoration of fire. Fire. Dream dreams. See visions. Dream dreams. See visions. Dream dreams. See visions. Dream dreams. Hallelujah. He says, what do you have in your house? And she said, nothing except a jar of oil. I want to prophesy upon your gift. It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed. There are many of you, the gift you have can bring bread to your table, but nobody is seeing it. It's one thing to be gifted. It's one thing to be skilled, but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed. Thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow. I prophesy to you, whatever has covered your gift, whatever has made your gift barren, right now, in the name of Jesus, I anoint your gift now. I anoint your skill now. I anoint your gift now. I Eriakata, creativity, creativity. I release it. I release that anointing, creativity, skill, expertise, competence, proficiency. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's God's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light I pray for you whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of Jesus I command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you. Hallelujah. Everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year, you have tried by your strength. I'm releasing grace upon your life right now. Go back to that same thing and watch how God will bless you through it. I pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here I strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine Lift your hands. One last prayer. Listen. I want to activate the gift of the Spirit. Without the gift of the Spirit upon your life, your life will be barren and unfruitful. It says, For I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as I speak father I come under this apostolic anointing right now across the length and breadth in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gifts one two three take it take it Gift of healing, word of knowledge, gift of prophecy, 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 
prophecy prophecy I activate the prophecy I open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit I declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow I prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring into your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls I mean connections mysterious happenings I speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of Jesus I command that every gate that has been closed the Bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you I command the earth to work for you I command the wind to work for you I command the stars to work for you everything that is a disappointment in your life I change it tonight to a testimony Hallelujah. if you're worshiping with us for the first time keep standing everybody there are many people outside let me speak upon your life personally wherever you are please make your way to the front quickly we have one minute to do this god bless you this is your first time you are most welcome there is a prophecy for you you must carry a signature no stand up keep standing everybody must know you came for koinonia hallelujah listen when you come here we may not give you hampers, but we give you an identity. You will Hello. come back with it and everyone will Scriptures know that you met the Scriptures exalt us from the book of Make Proverbs. your way to the front. Koinonia celebrate them. My son. Glorious. I thank to my sins. Glorious. God brought them Incline by his spirit. Thy ears Is this the best you can do in appreciation? Let them not depart the from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you